Just need a moment to catch my breath. I found Yo, that's a Crusader ring too. Nice. Nice. Yo, it has a percentage yet on it too. Yo, what's up everyone? Hope you're having a good day. And as you saw, we got a thread of hope from the zeros. Uh, that was, I think, my third zeros. The first two was just Aegon or Zero to get uh, in touch with the fight again. And then the last one was, I think, five. Because I just really wanted to get the thread of hope and you can get it even from zero. And there was like no risk. There was no reason to risk. And I couldn't even do Aegon or Eight yet. I don't have all the watchstones since I restarted the league but yeah after i think it was three divines we ended up getting the very large with a very good minus rest and now we have cleansing blows with with the leap and don't have to do all the traveling sanctity got retribution i'll probably end up taking precision at some point as well but yeah we'll see so that was a very 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 big upgrade and then another thing you can actually see that i have a uh, large glass tool now and we finally, finally ended up getting the Conjured Wall and the Mage Hunter. Oh, and apparently, yeah, we recently had the patch. Why, well, like today, we had the patch where the the tax for every, like you know, fossil crafting and the the leap mechanic crafting are now displayed if you alt. So that's really nice. I haven't actually read the patch notes yet. Probably gonna check them later today on stream. But yeah, we ended up hitting the Mage Hunter and Conjure Wall. I think I probably used like anywhere between 100 to 150 uh, caster rerolls to get that. And uh, it actually, it spawned with a, without the Lightning Resist. And uh, as you can see, it's not finished because I have to take the traveling nodes here. Uh, once we end up getting a third notable, which is a suffix. Uh, the conjured wall will move here and then we'll get the suffix here which we don't care about and we end up saving two points and how I'm gonna do that well I already tried it first so first of all there's a few people have said that they've removed one of the current like these notables with remove non caster so I'm a bit scared that there's a bug that allows the non caster to remove this caster mod even though it shouldn't more likely that they just accidentally used remove caster at a caster instead of it being bugged but I can like I don't want to take the risk right now and there's another way for me to do it so right now if I were to do non add like remove non caster at a caster it would have to remove either the dexterity or the lightning resist and add a uh, notable which would then potentially finish the the uh, the jewel for me but i want to get rid of the dexterity and the way i'm going to get rid of the dexterity is so i've already tried crafting a bit so i added a cold mod and the only suffix cold mod actually uh i can show you the mods so the only suffix cold mod we have uh, so we are on the large class jewel uh, for spell damage so if you look at the mods the only cold is resist there's no other cold like a uh, cold mods so i did a uh, add a cold mod and then i did remove non lightning add a lightning and because there is no uh, prefixes with a lightning modifier there's no risk for me to remove one of the caster mods one of the the notables and get a lightning mod because there isn't any lightning modifiers uh, in the prefixes so that forces the non lightning to remove one of the suffixes which was either dexterity or the cold dress and as you can see 
he ended up removing the cold rest and switching to lightning rest. So the next step is gonna be getting either remove non fire and add a fire, or remove non uh, cold and add a cold and try it again until we remove the dexterity. I think we could. Yeah, we cannot do non defense and non life because we have prefixes that could be uh, replaced or like could replace one of the existing mods. There's no attack mods at all. We could do with chaos, but I don't want chaos resist. I actually want, I really want fire resist on it, but I'll basically take any of the resist. Uh, so we'll just keep doing the remove non fire or like non fire, cold or lightning, and until we get rid of the dexterity. Then I'll just simply remove one of the resistances. So let's say that we ended up getting cold resistance, so we had cold and lightning rest. Then I just simply remove the lightning resist and then do a caster defense. Is there anything? Yeah, it's just a caster or defense uh, augment, and it will guarantee one of these uh, notables. And then the jewel is finished. Uh, other than that, haven't really changed anything. Uh, I actually just have some random cobalt jewels in the sockets right now because I really, really wanted to be able to use. So I, I barely got like I got the uh, the jewel just before I did Cirrus. I was like, shit, so if you're gonna get, if I'm gonna get a third of hope, I don't actually have any of the medium glass jewels, and I don't have a two path, if I have a two point ES node, I would do the energy from north for the 400 flat ES, but I was like, okay, so I guess we can just use some random decent cobalt jewels, so for example, this is double damage, it's a chaos dot multi chaos damage, and some attributes, which is int, which is ES, then here we have percentage ES, chaos damage, Chaos of Moldy and some reduced mana cost of skills, which isn't really doing anything useful. But yeah, so I really want the Chaos of Moldy cost jewels. I might even just use an, like a generic uh, damage over time multiplier jewel if I get one before I get the Chaos of Moldy, because that would be a massive upgrade for me right now. I could change the bathing from here to this instead. And that would save me a point. I could remove this to save a point. There's a bunch of things I could do. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, about the tree. I'll have a B.O.B. for the current character in the in the uh, description and the pinned comment. And also, if when you open the the uh, B.O.B. like the base pin into the battle building and it doesn't work, that's because you are not using the community fork. Uh, you can very easily tell it you're on the community fork uh, from the bottom left here. I don't know how well you can see it, but here next to the upper it says POP community fork. I'll also include a link for the fork. You should use it. If you don't, you're losing out. For example, Clans Implodes now actually actively works without any shenanigans. So yeah, as you can see, we are uh, 70 and 70, 70 attack block and 75 spell block right now. So that's kind of nice. As for the other gear, uh, Bond hasn't changed, Helm hasn't changed. I actually have a potential big boy upgrade Helm waiting though. A few of them actually. That just need some finishing. So I need to remove the the mana hybrid. Hopefully get a decent... I mean, the, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna change that. Because that's a T1 hybrid, the flat, and it's actually not bad. It's like over... that's over 300 ES Helm. And I just need to scour off the suffixes and then, yeah, go from there. Some other stuff. This is potentially very good. Uh, if we do a defense lamp for T1 flat. Uh, I just yesterday found a a Crusader Harmonic Spirit Shield. This is a T2 base. So I think the only, only better base than this is a Titanium. So we hopefully, probably going to be spending every single defense craft on this. Until we get ESM block. So we can finally get rid of this uh, shitty shield. It's been uh, I've been using since I raised back to CI. So that would make me a lot tankier, and I would probably immediately just do Awakener eight once I get the Watchstones. I think I'm missing eight Watchstones. No, six Watchstones from that at the moment because I I didn't have some of the maps in other regions when I needed to obtain. So I just like I, like, I want to just do zeros. So I'll just spawn. Like for example here, I've spawned uh, two Conquerors that 
I already had obtained the Watchstone from because I just wanted to kill Cyrus faster. Uh, so that slowed down the progress of getting the Watchstones a bit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, we found the we found the uh, Baron, like the Crusader uh, ring, which I'll just remove the I'll just remove one of the prefix and uh, well now we have a nice nice ring. This is a, just a really good ring. Uh, I found Paria as well. There's actually a good there's a cool clip. Uh, I'll just I guess link it in the description if you want to see it. But basically. Got this from the first. You don't actually see this right now because I don't have the watchstones. Mm, do we see it here at point? Nope. We need one more. So we got the paria from Acid Caverns. Uh, this is the best way to get it, other than just buying it, of course, because paria is a it is a warband unique, and it's a specific warband unique to the Chaos Renegades and. Acid Caverns has Chaos Renegades as the map boss. Uh, the same way you can farm Lighthouse, wherever that is again. Uh, yeah, Lighthouse for the the Fire Warbands guys. So for example, if you wanted to get it like a... I remember doing that at one point ages ago, like multiple weeks ago, when I want like a physical numbers taken as Fire uh, Helm base, because they can drop those as well. Uh, same way Iceberg, I don't remember where that is, I don't even know if I have the modlos at the moment, yeah, no, that's not Iceberg, uh, I guess it's one of the higher tier maps, so it's not shown on the Atlas right now, but that can give you the boots that have like flat damage spells and whatnot, so you can farm the specific maps that have the Warbands bosses for their uniques, and uh, Paria is the Renegades unique. There's, some, there's also the unique Sork boots that aren't Skyfort that that you can get from there. And it has debated a lot of people when they think they got a Skyfort, but they just got the Renegade boots instead. But yeah, that's basically just a lot of ES because I don't need resistance at the moment. And some attack speed, uh, cast speed, and plus two level of discipline, which doesn't really do much. But yeah, but that boots hasn't changed, I don't think. Or if they... No, wait, I think I was using the multi-resist boots. But I ended up finding a remove life, add life. I removed the life prefix into life region, and now we have a decent pair of boots. My build is really not that great right now. It just has resistance on my ES. I hope I get a remove physical so I can remove the physical damage to melee attackers, the, the reflect, and then craft the evasion ES hybrid. Um, and finally, got a delirium. And the first delirium I use will end up getting a very nice pair of gloves. Uh, it had fire resist, but I just removed the fire resist because I didn't really need it, and because so that I could start using this. Uh, the previous gloves were a bit more ES, but obviously didn't have the uh, more damage for time. Now I need to remove the chaos, and then I need to get multi mod, and then I'll multi mod the avoidance and plus one AOE. I'm actually gonna get a plus one radius to my contagion if I get like I think it's eight to nine or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah, if I get nine percent, uh, that would give me the radius. But obviously, eventually, we'll get to use a wand that has the quality does not increase physical damage in the instead it gives uh, AOE. So we don't need the. Uh, the, the AOE role of this doesn't really matter, but if we didn't have that, then we would actually need, I think it's 9% that we need, with a 20 quality contagion and level 20 uh, increased AOE and intensify. If you had, you could get one extra AOE from getting 22 quality, and I think these also get 1% extra AOE from level, so then it also would have mattered, but I need to actually check if I can get one more radius by getting 20... 22 quality and then 21, 21 gems on these and then 28 quality on the wand. Uh, I need to check if that actually gives me plus one radius. It could be pretty nice if I get that. But yeah, that's pretty much character. Uh, I think, yeah, oh, I exiled that. This was a Leo Slam for the strength. Uh, I didn't need resistance, so I was like, man, I really really want to see if I can get int 
So I Leo slammed it and I ended up getting a T1 strength. So this is actually now a really good amulet. And I will probably end up using this on a life build eventually. I'll probably just remove the the ES, I think. And then just... Or I mean we could even just do a life slam and hope to get a high life roll on it. And then, yeah. But this is a really nice, really, really nice uh, life amulet right now. You can see my anoint is still prodigal perfection. I could, I mean, I should take command of steel. It would give me 75% uh, damage and it would cap my attack block. But I don't really feel like I need the damage right now. I'm currently roughly like 1 million like shaper DPS, I think, around that fall bark without uh, Bane. And Bane is like an extra 100k or something like that, I think. I don't just don't feel like I really need it right now. I don't, I'm still don't have a five link and uh, the mana that I gain from Protocol Perfection, like it's like the the node would give me like double the amount of spell damage I get from Protocol, but Protocol's 15% mana helps with sustaining my uh, plight a lot at the moment. Just need a moment to catch my uh, that will obviously change once I eventually get the Chaos Dot. Class of Jewels, I can roll, I can roll the Eldritch Inspiration, which is like, I think it's 20% mana region and 15% mana on each of them, with 8% dot multi. Or if I get lucky and find, uh, like an item with a decent mana region, that would also help a lot. Could actually craft an item with that, but I don't really care too much right now. But yeah, so the, the plans for gear upgrades right now are getting the new shield. I'm really trying to get a new Sadis Carp, like an 80, 86 Sadis Carp. Uh, obviously Shaper Boots would be really nice. I found a shape pair of Shaper Boots, but they are uh, wrong wrong base, so I can't really use them. I don't want to drop all of this ES. This is a lot of ES I get from my boots right now, so... So yeah, and honestly the chest piece is kind of fine. I should probably Leo slam this, but... Uh, Ideally, this would eventually just get a defense slam and then craft quality plus int, and it would be a really nice chest. Obviously, I don't wanna, I don't think I wanna six link this. Uh, I'm actually currently saving all of my fuses and jewelers for the attempt with the 86 base once I get it. But yeah, need to get it first. Been pretty unlucky with that. I've actually got an 86 astral, two astrals, Valor guy and some random boots. Uh, I'm still using the shitty wand. Uh, I actually picked up a, like I'm trying to, I was alting this a bit at the earlier, but I don't really have that much right now. Would be nice to get a new wand, but I am actively trying to craft this wand. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I, I'm going for a bit more ambitious craft than just the plus two. Uh, well, plus two is a lot of damage. Uh, I actually have a plus one base here. This was alt Regalt. All of those three mods are alt Regalt. So... So yeah. Uh, so I could try crafting this, but as you can see it's an item level 82. And that is... That plus one all spell gems is an accidental mod that I got when I was trying to roll for the T1 suffix damage short time multiplier. Because what I instead of going for the plus one plus one chaos dot multi, and then probably like cast speed suffix trigger and then a slam to resist, I want to go for damage or time multiplier suffix malevolence effect. You could up to forty percent malevolence effect, which means that uh, on a level twenty gem, twenty one gem, sorry, you get uh, one percent extra skill effect duration. So forty percent of that is a decent amount of extra duration scaling, also just more damage. And uh, obviously the suffix dot over the multiplier is really good. Now, I guess I could try and make this into a plus two with dot multi and then the malevolence effect instead of the dot multi. But uh, this is actually going to be better as two crafted modifiers. And it gets a pr bit tricky here because I want this to be a plus one Chaos uh, dot multi, and then the last prefix is actually gonna be a 
chaos damage with skill effect duration. So this wand is gonna give me like 20%, actually over 20% skill effect duration, which is very, very good for wither duration, ED duration, uh, blight stacks duration, everything pretty much. Uh, wild disc duration, all of that. It's gonna make a big, a big difference. And I actually value this over the plus one more, because the damage is gonna be more than fine even without that, for at least what I want out of the build. So I'd rather go for the duration. And that's two crafted mods, so the only way we can do that is with a multi mod. And uh, so that means that we need to annul of the multi mod eventually when we want to go for the the high end craft because high end craft is going to be chaos dot multi plus one chaos or plus one all I suppose so we could potentially try to yeah it's it's not really worth not worth in solo self fun trying to get that. Uh, the damage for the multiple suffix, malevolence effect suffix, trigger, and then the chaos plus chaos duration. So what we need to do is, is after we finish the prefixes, so we get the plus one spell, uh, not plus one spell, uh, plus one chaos and chaos dot multi. Is I'll scour off the, I'll scour off the the life. Obviously I can do it now already. I'll do life, life removal. Then I do prefixes cannot be changed. And then, the, then I do a chaos removal to remove the chaos resist. And then it's a one suffix, two prefix, rare. And then I'll multi-mod the, the, the trigger and the chaos damage with uh, duration. And then we need to annul off the, the, the trigger, not trigger, uh, multi-mod. And then we do a... Hunter Exal Hunter Slam, and from there we just do influence remove add until we get malevolence effect. If we don't hit it on the exalt, and that's how we finish the wand. Uh, there's another way to make the the wand without needing the annul, but that requires a lot of RNG. Also, when it comes to the the annul, uh, it's basically one in one in six to brick and one in six to succeed. If we remove any of the the crafted mods. Obviously, the removing the multi mod is a win. If we remove the trigger, we recraft it back. No big deal. If we remove the chaos plus skill effect duration, no big deal. We just add it back again. If we remove the damage or that multiplier, we just well, we kind of fail with the weapon, but we can still finish the weapon without it, and we'll just force gas speed or something like that into it, or like a resist. It's gonna be annoying, but we could do that, and I would probably just try to craft a new one at that point. If it removes either of the the plus one or chaos dot multi, well, then we'll just go back into slamming au chaos augments until we get them back. So, as long as the damage or time multiplier is removed, the wand can be recrafted until we get it. So I guess it's a 50-50, either a succeed or a, a failure. Uh, and it's gonna take me a lot of time to get it, get it done, but when it's when it's done, if it's done, it's gonna be glorious. But yeah, so I think in the meantime, I'll probably end up making a random plus two wand or something like that. Uh, or if I end up hitting plus one on this, then I'll just craft, then I'll just multi mod it from there, like do the wand without the chaos dot multi or something like that. Yeah, that's what's up for now. Uh, Finishing the Atlas, we're like 117.54, doing some super series, trying to get uh, the stuff. I really, I need a, I'm gonna need actually a few Hunter Exalts. Uh, I'm gonna need one for the one, one for the Helm, because I want to get the uh, minus resist eventually. Uh, actually, that's kind of it. There's, there's some shenanigans you can do with gloves, with removing the multi mod on the gloves as well, and then doing the same uh influence slam to make a multi mod or make the avoidance plus one then the more damage over time and then a uh, damage like global dot multi I, mean, I think it's just chaos dot multi i don't remember but yeah we could do that but i think i'm just gonna go for as many multi modded gloves with the delirium mod and then i just double corrupt it until we get at least plus two or something like that well even plus one would be very good so that's the plan with the gloves. Yeah. That's the update we have for now. Hopefully next time 
we might even have a phase aggro with the second uh, thread, of, thread of hope. Hopefully I'll have some of the glass jewels. Yeah. Or maybe a new wand. I really need to make a new wand, even as a temporary wand, because this is just absolute garbage, pretty much, for the for this league standards. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon.